They're kind of like giant puzzles. Every wall is different. How did you do that without a computer? It's great. <laughs> My name is Douglas Hoximo, also known as Hox or Hoxo. I've been painting for well over 20 years. The way I make that painting is like the use of non-traditional mark making tools. So I'm using a dustpan and a paint pendulum. But the, the result is like, it's like amazing. Yeah, it looks yeah. like something a computer did. I can't wait to see what you do. What excites me about digital street art is it has a lot of unexplored potential. I'm Shane. I am a motion designer and a 3D artist. I studied film production in college and I discovered 3D art and motion design and I decided to dive into this field and basically changed my uh, career path to this. You've never, you've never sprayed a can uh, no, of paint? No, I don't think I've ever. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. I think I'm uh, changing career path. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can do this all day, I feel like. <laughs> I'm most excited that I have no idea what Shane's gonna come up with. I've had some idea like of integrating part of it, you know, in CG and basically doing some fluid or particle work with the color of your of your piece. The motion will be, I guess, interpreted from the the mural you painted. This is magnificent. Thanks. Man. Yeah. This is like complete opposite from my work. The more texture there is, the better it helps me to track the camera and also to implement like the, the CG element scene. I don't want myself to be constrained through a certain set of tools. You know, I always love to try out new stuff. So you, you actually, you photograph, like you find physical places to then augment. I usually take a walk around the city to find like interesting place. Uh, that, uh, that fits one of my ideas. I shoot all the footage and assets from my phone, and in this case, I took a 360 spherical photo so I can use the geometry in post. I think he's got way more freedom on the computer than I do on a wall. This is basically a fluid simulation overlaid on the original footage, and the particle, as you can see, it's using Hox's artwork, and at this one frame, that it goes to the original and then it goes out into basically a really noisy fluid pattern. So this water simulation is pretty heavy because it has a, a pretty dense point cloud. It took around 10 to 15 minutes to simulate, which is like unimaginable. I try to do my best to make it look good and realistic as possible to hold it up my own standard and then I just put it out there. And if you don't share it, you're missing out on some fun. Sometimes people would think that the work I do are, are real or actually in the location. Oh my god, yes. And <laughs> they just have a laugh. 